And meanwhile, moving on over to West Virginia, more than 1,500 athletes from all over the country participated in a muddy obstacle course designed by Navy SEALs this afternoon. WHAG's Nate Stewart also joined in and shows us how participants and even Nate himself got down and dirty. If you're not into getting muddy from head to toe, climbing ropes, and getting in an intense workout, then the Battle Frog Obstacle Course is definitely not for you. In just its third event appearance, the course, founded and designed by Navy SEALs, has attracted people from all over the country of all different ages. They're for little children, they're for people who just want to run a mile, the 5K. Most people are doing it just for fun. They're not really doing it as a race. The course was created to recognize our military and to help people understand the type of work that Navy SEALs do. Our main base is in tribute to the military and in tribute to Navy SEALs, especially those who've lost their lives. Everyone involved says even though it's tough, it's well worth the effort. There's a lot of climbing, a lot of running, a lot of crawling, and uh, it's all in the thick mud. And everyone's coming across the line just loving it. There was a lot of fun stuff, a lot of mud, some stinking nasty water to go through. And I haven't been this tired in probably 15 years. So I had no idea what to expect when I showed up here at the Battle Frog event. And obviously I'm way too overdressed if I want to go and participate. But the guys here have hooked me up with some clothes. So now it's time to go get a little muddy. My first challenge was crossing this pond without falling in. And although it doesn't look long, trust me, I almost gave up halfway through. But I kept pushing to complete the first obstacle. Yeah, yeah. Great job. Next, yeah. it was on to the cargo neckline. After hydrating real quick, I came at it full force, made it over the top, yeah. came back down, and moved on to the next phase. Now, here's where I got real muddy through the ant hole, but I kept pushing through to the finale. This obstacle is known as the tsunami, and with good reason. After climbing up another wall, I made my way down the slide to complete the challenge. Hello, everyone. I just completed some of the most toughest obstacles here at the Battle Frog, and it was a lot of fun, and I'm real muddy, but I think I'm going to stick with recording. We're in Hedgesville. I'm Nate Stewart, WHAG News. Well, certainly looks like he had fun there. All the proceeds from the event go toward foundations for the Navy SEALs. The next Battle Frog Challenge will be held August 2nd in New Jersey. For more information on how you can participate, just go on over to our website, yourforestate.com.